Here is a puzzle that found its way to Mensa Mumbai's WhatsApp group and got posted in the puzzle string. And the puzzle goes something like this. There is a square given to us whose dimensions are not uh, given. And inside that, there is a triangle inscribed. One vertex of the triangle coincides with this vertex of the square. And the other two vertices lie on the sides of the square. Uh, in general, this triangle is a scalene triangle. So all its angles and lengths could be different. And some angles of this figure are given, like this is 70 degrees and this is 45 degrees. And we are supposed to find this angle of the triangle. There are several ways of solving this problem. And we'll be looking at uh, two of those. But if you want to you know, pause the video here and solve it on your own, please do so now. OK, now let us go ahead and start solving this problem. We'll start with the simplest of the methods. And literally, this is a child's play. Because as children, we have all folded papers and made you know, airplanes and uh, paper boats and whatnot. So we'll see that kind of solution. So we'll start with the basic uh, square that is given to us. And I'll draw just the two of the lines uh, that are given okay, and the angle between them. I have deliberately drawn these lines dotted because that's a hint. As children, when we were doing handicraft, dotted line meant folding. So this angle is 45 degrees and it is subtended at this point where the square itself is giving us a 90 degree angle. So there is a 90 degree angle and half of it 45 degrees. How can we take a 90 degree angle and make half of it? Well, we can fold it on itself. And that's what we are going to do. We are going to take these lines, which are like fold lines, and we'll take this triangular part of this paper and fold it here. Similarly, this triangle, we are going to fold along this line. Let me mark those triangles so we can see this better. And I'm going to tilt the figure so you can see this folding figure, uh, folding process even better. Okay. So this is how we are going to fold the paper. And you will see these two triangles come and exactly match along this line. Let us look at this process once again in this view. And this time we are going to name the vertices A, B, C, and D. So let's run it again. Now you see this vertex B is coming and it is getting placed here. Vertex D is getting placed here. And they are coinciding. And that's hardly surprising because, see, what is this side? This side is nothing but this side, the top side of the square, as well as the left side of the square. If they are of the same length, they have to coincide. And therefore, these points D and B, or rather their new positions, are going to coincide. And because of this folding process, some of the angles that are given to us are going to get repeated. For example, this 70 degree angle is simply coming and sitting at this place. And that's the end of the puzzle. Because now we know two angles of the triangle, so we can always find the third one. Okay. So 180 minus 70, that's 110, minus 45 should give us 65 degrees. So that's the answer of the puzzle. Now we are going to go ahead and solve this using trigonometry. It is completely unnecessary, but uh, if you like trigonometry and want to apply it everywhere, let's see how to do that. OK, so let us start with the basic figure here. In this figure, no lengths are given. And that gives us the liberty of assuming any length. And uh, here is the reason why. See, this figure is giving only angles. And when you specify only angles, that defines the shape, but not the size. And therefore, you can choose the size. Now, what is the simplest length you can give to your square? One, of course. Okay. Uh, then let's mark some angles that we can easily figure out. If this is 70 degrees, this has to be 20. 20 and 45 add to 65. So this must be 25. And that makes this as 65 degrees. Now, using trigonometry, we can mark some of these lengths, say, opposite to 20 degrees and this length opposite to 25 degrees. They are going to be simply tan of 20 and tan of 25 degrees. Uh, since the entire length is 1, we can even mark these lengths as 1 minus tan 25 and 1 minus tan 20. Now, that gives us a way of finding this angle. That angle would be tan inverse of uh, the opposite side, 1 minus tan 20, divided by adjacent side, 1 minus tan 25. If we actually carry out this calculation, 
then we get 50 degree as the angle. And knowing these two angles, 65 and 50, we can figure this angle, which comes to 65. So that's the way we can use trigonometry to solve this problem.